A high-level government panel has recommended fresh bids for India's first port taxi project. Although port taxis have many advantages, they are also associated with some limitations regarding implementation and usage. In the present world where fuel and environment are areas of major concern, especially in transportation, a kind of transport system is required that helps in sustainable development without compromising present traffic needs. It is with this in mind that the Indian government has been looking at technology to provide a solution that is eco-friendly, congestion-free and efficient. PRT or Personal Rapid Transit is the most recent development in public transportation and is the best possible option that compiles with the above needs. Furthermore, governments of various developed and developing countries are adopting port taxi services to offer more conveniences to the population of the country. Based on the research conducted over the past years, PRT is attractive in comparison to other options like cars, taxis and public transport. For example, one PRT car can perform the task of 30 to 40 private cars. Congestion on the network is avoided through dynamic rerouting. Automation leads to predictability, creating safety by avoiding human error. PRT provides direct travel and on-demand service, ensuring trips are quicker, seamless and energy consumption is less. It also guarantees privacy of the passengers. Although PRT has significant advantages, there are several aspects that need to be addressed to be able to properly configure the system for the city. This will include mobility and accessibility in a particular area. This is the important for people while selecting their house or place of work. A clear aspect that needs to be addressed is the accessibility of the stations. Parallel to the design of the route network, locations of PRT stations have to be determined based on the need to ensure maximum accessibility. Construction of the guideway and the stations is also a vital phase. Any problems for the public and the existing services taking place in the implementation environment should be minimized. Once the system is implemented, the operations and maintenance phase commences. This does not only concern the vehicles, but also the infrastructure. The maintenance of the stations as well as the vehicles are the most visual aspect. We have to keep in mind one thing whether it's giving us the last mile connectivity or not. We have to give them the proper this taxi facilities, this interconnection, like in case of metro train. We are providing few parkings and along with this, interconnected metro bus services is also there. So people make connect it and may commute from this. There are also certain limitations associated with PRT in itself such as its compact nature where the space is comparatively less compared to other systems. Besides this, small vehicles are very inefficient in serving large passenger volumes. Transportation systems with guideways, rail, monorail or other technology stations and sophisticated automation require substantial investment costs. Further, PRT does not provide door-to-door -door connectivity because it works on elevated rail and can also facilitate station-to-station -station travel. You are going to design the station and also how the line has to travel. For that, uh, station design has to be studied and then because the ports has to stop at every station and if um, the, every part has to stop at each station, then it is going to be huge delays. Keeping that point also in mind, we have to design the line and the station, how the parts have to diverge and merge. So those places needs extra care in designing the station. But PRT can be used as a feeder for long distance transport system like buses, railways, airways, etc. Also being pollution free, it acts as a good transportation system for local movement of people locally. Bureau report Rajasabha Television.